Hey everybody, it's Alan here. Um, I wanted to make just a, just a quick and dirty video, um, and by quick and dirty I mean sort of kind of thrown together editing-wise, uh, about the Logan Paul issues that uh, sprang up last night. Now for those of you who don't know, uh, around about 1am my time on the 2nd of January uh, 2018, that's how fucking long it took someone to screw up. Um, the uh, a video hit the uh, the Twitter sphere. A video had been uploaded for a few days and had been on YouTube for you to watch for a few days, um, I believe, where Logan Paul goes into uh, uh, Logan Paul's a popular vlogger uh, goes into a place called I think the Forest Death or something like that. Um, and they're, they're walking around, vlogging as they go. Um, he and his crew stumble across, uh, unfortunately, um, a person who was hung from a tree. Um, it appears that that person was long dead. Um, so there was, there was nothing, as far as I could tell that they could do um, to, to save the guy's life. This is unfortunate, but it, it does happen. There's a wooded area um, behind me, um, like directly behind me, probably about half a mile from here, uh, and I have stumbled across uh, a person who was hung in there. So uh, it, it happens. It's, it's an unfortunate fact of life. Um, people do get to a point where they feel... There is no other way out. I've been there myself, you know. Um, anyway, um, Logan Paul then decided to not edit this part of the video out uh, and and then upload it to YouTube, uh, along with a bit at the front that said, uh, like right on the head of the video that said, "Hey." Um, Something happens in this video. It's not, viewer discretion is advised, and blah blah blah. Uh, he also used this as part of the video thumbnail. That was pretty bad. Um, so let me let me start by saying that what. Um, so I, I apologise if we keep glancing off here. I'm, I'm look, I have like a little cue card thing set up on my screen here. Um, what he did was awful and generally was just just not smart. Um, but if I was that person's, the dead person's family, I wouldn't want to see that. You know, it was it was it was it was bad. Um, was it disrespectful? Um, I doubt it was deliberately disrespectful. I think that he he felt that he was raising awareness for um, issues surrounding suicide. I, I personally believe he hasn't stated that, but that's what I believe that he that he thinks. I think that's what was running through his mind. I could be wrong. I really hope I'm not. Um, did he upload it and, and use that particular icon for the views? Uh, almost definitely. Um, but there are many, many YouTubers uh, who do things for the views. Admittedly, nothing quite so stupid, but... Uh, there are people who do stuff for the views. Here's the thing. Um, I just wanted to put it out there as well. I, I'm not defending his actions. Um, I, I'm just... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no way am I even going to attempt to defend his actions. Here's the thing. The reactions that I saw immediately on Twitter... Um, were from, from prominent YouTubers, um, were two things. One, they were not fucking helping. Um, and two, in some cases, their reactions were fucking disgusting. Um, 
and and here's uh, a few responses with some screenshots um, placed over the video here. Um, Aaron Paul telling him that he is pure trash and to rot in hell. Really? Okay. Um, Crank Gameplays telling him that he is a disgusting human being. Um, where have we seen someone do something like that before? If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. And like, I hate to give you attention because you're a garbage human. Admittedly, um, where I have seen it before was uh, unprovoked, but um, you could argue that uh, uh, Crank Gameplays uh, input there, uh, input on, on this particular matter, was unprovoked. Jack Septicai saying that he is mentally fucked up, and that's actually probably the most tame uh, response on this list. And last but not least, someone who I have followed for a long time, um, Martin uh, Martin Littlewood in the Littlewood, saying that he is a cunt, pure and simple. Oh, sorry, no, Martin's is not last but not least. I save the best for last. PewDiePie. Um, PewDiePie uh, is calling him out as as well. Um, I actually haven't put in my little uh, cue card here um, PewDiePie's response, but um, uh, I, I just have to ask, um, Felix, who was it who paid two guys five dollars to hold up a sign that said death to all Jews? Um, who was it who caught shit for calling a guy a fucking nigger uh, on stream. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? You. You, Felix, are no one to talk about people doing stupid stuff online. Now, need I remind you that you are the one responsible for the ad apocalypse that a good portion of YouTubers have been complaining and bitching about for months. Okay? So don't... Don't you start chiming in saying how bad Logan Paul is. D don't, don't even... Really just don't go there. You know? If anything, you should be jumping in saying, Hey guys... What he did was stupid, but your reactions are tantamount to bullying in in some cases. And these reactions that I've listed here, these aren't all of of, of the reactions. Um, I'll see if I can find. I believe there was a hashtag on a few of them, so um, I'll I'll put the uh, I'll put the hashtags that you need to look at uh, in the video description. So, here's one for all of you saying all this stuff, saying how disgusting he is, saying how he should be banned from YouTube and his videos should be demonetized and yeah, all the, all the usual stuff that YouTubers tend to jump on when they see something they don't like. Um, how about, you know, since you're waving these morals around, how about you campaign or, you know, how about you take on uh, websites like um, where's the ones I'm looking for? Uh, Live Leak, where it has videos of people showing it has videos showing people getting their heads cut off by drug cartels. Yeah, you know, uh, it has videos showing people getting shot. It has videos from the Boston bombings on there. Um, how about? You take on bestgore.com, which you can check that website out for yourself. Um, I, I'm 99% sure that you won't do it. Why? Because you're then, take, you're then going up against a corporation, rather than one person that you can just dogpile on and be seen to be apparently taking the moral high ground. That's why you won't do it. 
please prove me wrong. So I'm calling all of you guys out. Stop with the stupid name calling that you're doing. You're not helping anything. Um, now, there's going to be a few people say, well, hey, Alan, all you're doing is making a video. You're not actually helping. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's true. Um, there's not really a great deal that I can do um, from my... Um, from my financial situation, among other things, you know, it's not like I can hop on a plane and, and uh, you know, go and help out the the dead guy's family or something like that. But actually, some of you guys, um, with the amounts of money that I've seen people brag uh, about making when I've been to uh, uh, conventions or I've been in uh, Skype calls, that kind of thing, you actually can do something. You know, at very least, you can buy a plane ticket uh, and try and help out that way. Um, but what you can also do is you can just, just stop with the name calling. Uh, it's just really, it's, it's not doing people any good. I mean, telling someone that they are a cunt, pure and simple, that they are mentally fucked up, that he is trash, um, you know, that he's a disgusting human being. How is that helping? What, what do you aim to achieve with that kind of stuff? Really? I want to know. If any of you... Um, if any of the people mentioned or uh, would like to talk to me in a calm and measured fashion, then my Twitter details are below. Uh, shoot me a DM. We can exchange uh, Discord details. Uh, and uh, We can have a, a, a calm... Uh, conversation about this. We can stream it, we can stick it up on YouTube, do whatever you like. To everybody else, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.